What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning David Hay Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury. Get this. David Hay states that he would have beat Tyson Fury if they fought back in 2013. Uh, the date was supposed to be September 28th, 2013. David Hay supposed to fought Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury back in those days. <clears throat> I don't think David Hay was no longer a champion in that day, at, at that time. I could be wrong, but he was since he's 41 years of age. Now his birthday's October 13th. Libra in the house. Um, <clears throat> let me look at his stats for a second because I believe he wasn't even a champion at that time. So uh, I know he lost to Vladimir Klitschko in 2011. <clears throat> okay, 2012, he won the WBA International Continental and the WBO International Heavyweight Championship titles against Derek Chisora. Of course, he was the first one to drop Chisora and stop Chisora. Um, <clears throat> but he lost to Tony Bellew. Uh, so I think he must have retired. But he, I believe he had that belt. So no, he was the Intercontinental Champion at the time. And he was going to fight Tyson the Gypsy King Fury. And what people tend to do, they, t they tend to look at David Hay based on his last performances against Tony Bellew. He lost back-to-back, -back, one to an injury and the other one for stoppage. Both was bad, both he was defeated, and that was it. And we all know what happened to Tony Bellew. Tony Bellew fell at the hands of Alexander Usyk, okay? Um, I know people's, uh, especially retired fighters, they have a perception of what they would have done when they were that age. The difference between this is, David Hay was actually young and in his prime. OK, um, when he did that to Derek Chisora, it was in 2012. OK, July. Now, a little bit over a, uh, a year later, he's supposed to fall uh, Tyson Fury on September the 28th. So that meant he was still in his prime. He was still in shape. OK, now, um, of course, he had took that that L to Vladimir Klitschko, but who didn't at that time. You know what I mean? His first loss was to Carl Thompson. OK, but. Other than that, he went a long time, you know, without being defeated until he fell into the hands of Vladimir Klitschko. However, um, people look at Tyson Fury now and David Hay now. We're looking at that back in 2013. And let me counterpunch. I think it would have been a very good fight based on the styles. David Hay was a very awkward, very quick, smaller heavyweight. And we've seen what Tyson Fury struggled with at that time. He didn't struggle with bigger guys. He didn't struggle with Deontay Wilders or Vladimir Klitschko's or Dillian White's, bigger guys like that. He struggled, uh, struggled against smaller guys. Okay, so um, <clears throat> Steve Cunningham was one to note. He got dropped on the seat of his ass. And who's to say David Hay couldn't do that same thing? No, they never fought, but they were going to. And David Hay said, I think that could have happened. You have to you also have to keep in mind that Tyson wasn't really a big puncher because he was his style wasn't set based on punching, sitting down on his punches whatsoever. He was more like float, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee type. OK, he was just throwing and he would a lot of times he would come in jabbing from his waist, but he leaves his face wide open. David Hay would throw one of those haymakers and put him on his ass just like Stephen Cunningham did. I think he had the possibilities in the way he did throw his shots because they were very awkward and they came looping. Almost kind of put you in the mind of a, a bigger uh, Marcos Maidana when Marcos Maidana used to throw these overhand looping rights or um, who else? Uh, uh, Ricardo Mayorga also used to throw these crazy like right hands. And then they would land simply because of how he throws them, okay? And they were very, very awkward. So I think that David Hay, he might, if he wouldn't have won, he definitely would have gave Tyson Fury problems, okay? So it's not too much out of the norm because I've seen other videos on this and I've seen that, hey, yeah, he's, you know, it's just ego talking. But no, you, you're thinking about it. When they were going to fight, September 28th, 2013, he was 32 years of age. OK, he was in his prime. He was in his peak time right then. So if he was going to do it, it would have been right then. The only reason that didn't that fight didn't happen because he cut he had a cut in sparring or something like that. And then that's why he had to pull out of the fight. 
But make, make no mistakes about it, that would have been a very interesting fight had they fought. Because again, Tyson Fury wasn't known to be a puncher, therefore he didn't punch like that. So he was a rangy, taller guy, very fast for his size, but nonetheless, he could get punched. Hell, he even punched himself, if you guys can remember that. So like Tyson Fury was a different fighter back then. So people, when you line up what a person says today, like David Hay, you have to understand David Hayes' day was a long time ago, maybe nine years ago, okay? So nine years ago, he might have got the job done, okay? Versus Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of David Hayes stating that he would beat Tyson Fury if they fought. He was referring to then, not now. If it was now, he would be destroyed, okay? For all, for, for all arguments, Tyson Fury would destroy David Hayes. Too. He's not uh, hes not in shape. He's ring rusty. Tyson Fury, he's a different type of fighter. He's punching to hurt you now. He's punching to take you out now. So he's not worried about all that other stuff. But as far as nine years ago, I think it would have been a different story. You Again, you guys tell me what you think. Please subscribe. And you guys can counterpunch. Peace.